So, The Punisher. Uh, this is one of the earlier Marvel movies. It came out in 2004. One of the very few I have not seen. Um, so, I just watched it on Netflix a few days ago, and I'm going to review it. This is a reboot of the, like, 1979 Dolph Lundgren Punisher movie. It was rebooted in Punisher Warzone. It has a somewhat sequel called Punisher Dirty Laundry, and it probably will be rebooted again uh, to join the MCU. <sighs> what do you know? Oh, the plot is, after his family is straight up murdered by Howard Saint, Frank Castle goes on a quest for revenge. I like that uh, speech he does. He's like, this isn't revenge. Revenge is an emotional response. This isn't justice either. Justice would be putting them in jail. And he like, just cocks a gun. He's like, this is punishment. And I'm just like, well then, he's, he's the judge, jury, and executioner, isn't he? So, you know, p people think he's dead. So he goes and he crashes in a, uh, a building, an apartment building with... Uh, meets Joan, Dave, and Bumpo. They're kind of the people that live in his apartment. And they're just three kind of weird people that kind of made a family together just because they're... Yeah, they're the heart of the movie, they, those three are. He goes, he enlists Mikey, who's one of Saint's lackeys, and she's just bring the entire Howard Saint empire down. So there's Frank Cashel slash The Punisher. Thomas Jane is great as the Punisher, you know, he is a good and he's a tragic character. Thomas Jane captures how tragic he is, how angry he is, and how just desperate he is. He also manages to be a, the brutal tactician that the Punisher did, that the Punisher is. So, you know, Howard Saint, John Travolta was actually pretty good in this role. Um, you know, he, uh, he's really evil and he's good at being the spoiled mafia godfather. Yeah. Quentin Glass, played by Will Patton. Yeah, Will Patton. He's just Howard's best friend. Who um he's alright. Patton does a good job on the role, yeah. Then there's Livia Saint, who is Howard's wife. You know, and so when Thomas Jane, uh the Punisher, you know, he's like, Okay, I want revenge on this guy so much, I'm going to take away everything he has. The thing that My Mikey tells him though, the thing he covets most is the wife. However, her character though is really bland. She's just a plot piece, you know? Um Livia Saint's character, she has a little bit of kind of character development. Mostly she's just a plot piece that is there to help uh, Frank get revenge. And then there's Joan, played by Rebecca Romaine Stamos. She's the somewhat love interest who teaches him, you know, good memories can save your life. And I guess Jane and Stamos have okay um, chemistry, but she's just a really bland character. She is. Right here, to skip to this time on the clock, I skip the spoilers. I'm too lazy to put an annotation in. Just skip to that time. Work for a living. The final action scene was awesome. You know, he breaks into Saint's house, just kills a whole bunch of people. All of his, fa all of Howard Saint's family, his wife, his his best friend, his son, and then you know the final scene where he's comes out in the parking lot, he's like Howard Saint, and George Travolta turns around, begins to take out a gun, and you know he's the Punisher, so he just whips at a gun, shoots him, and then he um. You know, he walks up to him and just tells him his entire plan. He's like, I made you kill your wife, I made you kill your best friend, and now I've killed you. And he just grabs him, hooks him onto the hood of a car, and just drives the car away into a parking lot of other cars, and then clicks the beeper, and a bunch of other cars explode. So he's pretty much being dragged through an explosion, then clicks it again, and the, um, the car that's dragging John Travolta explodes, and then you see an aerial shot, and it's a, uh, his Punisher skull logo, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's the Punisher right there, you know, he's just brutal, he's, but he's a good guy. You know, I like his whole, this isn't revenge, this isn't justice, this is punishment thing. That's something that's unique to his character. Something that I wish was um, delved into more was what really gives him the right to be the judge and jury and ex executioner, you know? What gives him the right to punish people? Um, so yeah, all in all, this is a really good movie. I would really like to see Thomas Jane as the Punisher again. He might be a little bit too old, though, no offense. I might just say, you know, I mean, it's been 11, mo 11 years since this movie came out, so, yeah. I wonder if he'll join the NCU. I think, um, they should have him be a defender. Then you could have five. You could have Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and the Punisher be the defenders. You could I could add someone else to, uh, Avengers Infinity War, if Frank Castle as the Punisher. Yeah. Um, I'd say this movie is worth seeing in theaters. That's my second or third highest rate. It's it's a really good movie. It is. Uh, the only thing is the characters are just kind of bland. Apart from that, it's, it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, be sure to subscribe. Bye.